what's up crew it's Mosh welcome to you guys and girls raw I really I greatly appreciate you guys and girls coming along for another one of these boxing adventures in this knife making path that I'm on I'm humbled and you know before we go any further I want to wish everyone you know a, uh, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I mean that from the bottom of my heart thank you very much everyone for coming along uh, if you don't obviously uh, if you celebrate a different a different holiday, hope your holiday is blessed as well. This one, as you can tell by the cool title that I have, um, is 127, and it's for an, an outstanding person, a, a a a man that I am honored to call friend. And uh, you know, if you don't know about Rob, uh, take a look at his link down below uh, in the description. Uh, in you know, take a look at some phenomenal knives. Just an excellent collection from a, again, a very high quality person. Uh, Rob Harris is is the owner of number one twenty seven, and I'm going to do this a little different because of the of the the Christmas holiday. Um, I'm going. It's nighttime. I'm getting the video done now. I'm going to get this in the mail uh, overnighted ASAP. Um, uh, tomorrow morning, so I can make sure to get the rub in time for Christmas. Um, I I took pictures during the day uh, to say goodbye, but I didn't have the sheath done yet. I came down and I finished the sheath and put the final edge on. I have my my um, original style sheath, the thumb ramp sheathing that everyone like calling this. It's not. It's a pocket catch. It's uh, the reverse idea of an Emerson. And let's see if I can. Show first and foremost. Get everything kind of down out of the way. And then it goes into the pocket. You know, come out the front of your pocket and it draws so your knife is instant. Um, and then you know you don't resheath in the pocket, take your sheath out of the pocket and then go ahead and bang it out. Of course, if you choose to use it as a of deployment it's it's good to go um, the sheath is the 080 kydex excuse me whole stacks carbon fiber sorry about that and um, per Rob's instructions he wants to go ahead and have the sands a lanyard uh, for his phenomenal wife to build for him absolutely I still have three feet uh, of Non gutted 550 paracord, uh, so that's it's true 550 cord, uh, and it is knotted with the overhand, excuse me, got my finger on overhand knot, so that if you're going to use my tether system for um, my, my static cord system to, to, to lash it down to something, you take and deploy the knife and put it over, no problem, or if you want it to uh, tether with the knife in, you have to take that overhand knot out. Your choice. You do as you as you wish, brother, and, um, and go from there. The high gloss finish is just there. You go. You can kind of just barely see the first scratch of the of the whole stacks coming in. Sorry, I just want to do it. Um, I'll, you know, I can't do anything about it. This one has the original. There you go. The L Marshall. Nice to meet you. Number one twenty seven. And it's this is N690 um, with on the show side it has the LMK all the shooting trophies up there on the wall <laughs> and uh, roll down from the show side <sighs> cross draw for my friend cross draw Rob. Uh, there's an underscore in there also. I'll make sure to have everything. Uh, this is N690. He treated to 60 tested at 60 Rockwell HRC. Sorry, crew. I still can't remember to get this thing in the, in the airplay mode. But I'll go ahead and splice one and two and make a new. And uh, basically start right back over. You know, we'll go from 
start to the... Merry Christmas. Start back over for you. It's my my large EDC drop point. It's a uh, steel is N690, rock weld at 60 HRC, tested. It has the uh, standard or well, the original engraving on it. Let's see if I can. And it's hard to show up with a. There you go. The old Marshall, number 127, where that the trophy is in a reflection. And this is N690. I want to try a fingerprint. And there's the LMK on the show side. We roll down from the show side, and there is the cross draw. I don't know if that's focused. Cross draw. If you guys want to see the pictures, go ahead and hashtag, um, do a hashtag search uh, of uh, hashtag number 127 LMK, and you will find, uh, you know, some pretty cool short videos that, that show off the engraving a little better from my friends Seth and Brian Tangway. Um, outstanding. All the links will be in the description below. I really appreciate it. The Along with the uh, natural canvas uh, phenolic from Knife Kits. Knife Kits will have, I'll have knifekits.com uh, down below. And the brass uh, quarter inch mosaic pins also came from knife kits. The quarter inch tubing I got from Amazon uh, for the lanyard tube. Uh, my friend, I just seen a little bit of undesirable in there. Uh, my friend Rob said, hey brother, can you please um, not put your, your lanyard on? Absolutely. He goes, I'd like my wife to, to uh, Tie a lanyard off with a Scooby bead. I said, very cool. Absolutely do not mind. So, um, the the knife is coming sans the lanyard. I standard, standard tie, but the sheath will still have the static cord. And I don't know if I miss the static cord, but it has my traditional knot in it, along with my uh, traditional sheath that everyone calls a thumb ramp. It's technically a pocket catch. And I showed that, I know, um, early in the video. So once again, I'm, I'm going one and two. We'll make a new. So the, the uh, eyelets are set up for a large tech lock. First three are horizontal and vertical. And then one and four, two and five, uh, three and six are for your 45 uh, degree cans. Other than that, everyone, oh, a... a Double laminated um, G10 liner. Uh, what that is, what I mean by that is, it is two pieces of of G10 laminated together to give it a little bit of thicker look instead of the the very thin accent. I thought it would complement it very well, and I think it did. I think it hit a home run. Make especially bring uh, a little more space and attention to that cross draw right there, especially when you're it's in hand. It really it, it um, frames the uh, the steel very well. I like it. So from there, everyone be blessed. Let's go ahead and start cutting something. Uh, you guys, girls, already seen it, but let's get a fresh one just in case. Uh, oh, variable grind. I have a variable grind on this. I forgot. It's a high performance variable grind. You can see. Uh, the tip where it thickens right out for the tip, almost like a compound grind, just blended. Very, very thin, and it progressively gets thicker for you. So you can do a little more uh, abusive, you know, stuff with a high-performing knife. Um, I'll save one of those. Uh, put some nice rusty rags on it.
<laughs> yes. Look at that curve cut. Love it. Love it. Is this thing. <laughs> ah. Pose yourself. Let's carry on. Single page. B27 and B28. You see right through it. No problem. Look at that little curly cues. This thing is just delicious. Get to get the show on the road because I'm going to have some editing to do to make the, the two uh, videos for one deal. Tactical heart. Bang, bang, bang. Tactile Heart's a little bigger than normal because my princesses asked me to do so. Ooh. It's all done. My princess asked me to do it. She said, Dad, can you make Tactile Heart a little bigger to say thank you? Sure thing, honey. So, brother, down deep. Nothing but love and respect for you your family. I hope everyone has an outstanding Christmas and you guys and girls really do believe it. Thank you for blessing some happiness upon my, my girls and my son. My wife too. She loved those those uh, pecan um, man, the pecan chocolates. Love them. Uh, so before we go any further, because I have the tackle heart, that's going right into Rob's Rusty Rags Ultimate Knife Care Kit. Along with See if I can open it this way. There we go. Going in immediately. Boom. Uh, along with my business card, Rob, you got my personal cell phone number. You can call me anytime, brother. But um, along with that is coming the uh, certificate of purchase, and this is the uh, blade style is a drop point. It is a the steel is N six ninety. Uh, the model is EDC uh, drop point. Uh, the date uh, twelve twenty one fourteen, and number is one twenty seven. And of course, Lloyd Marshall is your maker. Nice to meet you guys, and girls. If, you, if this is your first time tuning in, all going in. I do not have uh, the T-shirt that's going along with this, but there will be one. And from there, I'm going to be blessed. Let's go ahead and. Get some um, to your health, to your happiness. Courtesy of my friend Mike, who's getting 128, by the way. Definitely a good way to get me motivated to work on your knife. Get some coffee in me. <clears throat> and I have misplaced my rusty rags. Ultimate knife care sauce. Hmm, I don't want to start this video over again. So please stay with me. I am sorry for the for the uh, unprofessionalism of a, a messy knife shop, but I have been working nonstop to try to uh, get everyone's knife done as fast as possible. So. Uh, the shop um, has suffered greatly because of uh, my lack of cleaning. So, hmm. Well, what I'm going to do is uh, swear internally a little more. <laughs> oh, man. Can't believe that happened. Uh, 
shoot. Well, what we'll do, I can replace uh, I can replace a little bottle inside a lot easier than I can redo this video. I'm sorry. But we're gonna that's what we're gonna do. When I find it This is a first. I am I'm so unprofessional. Use the rusty rags ultimate knife care sauce. Thoroughly coat the N690. Uh, because even though I am shipping this overnight, Rob has told me he is going to keep it uh, boxed up for uh, his Christmas present. And I'm humbled by that. Thoroughly, thoroughly coat, wipe down. N690 is a phenomenal steel anyway. Uh, N690 is the steel that number 51 uh, is made from. And you can see the evolution uh, from my 51st knife to my 127th knife. Uh, I love them. It's an absolutely outstanding design and one I'm extremely proud of. 51 is static cord uh, into my waist. Yes, like a boss. Uh, so we get wiped down the rest away and because all the all the uh, pictures and stills were taken earlier today last time this knife comes out of the sheath by my hand man already missed it brother so for now I don't be blessed thank you so much and wipe the dang whole stacks down wipe the dang uh, static core down mm, wipe the imaginary Wipe the imaginary uh, lanyard down. I, I'm going a little cuckoo, but for now I'm going to be blessed. I hope your hope your holiday that you celebrate is spectacular because you deserve it. For now, everyone, thank you for coming along for another journey. Out. Urgh.